My name is Julie Albaugh, and I will be your host for Ohio Weddings. We will share leading tips and information from leading wedding experts. And we will share real weddings from Ohio couples. Welcome to Ohio Weddings. I'm now joined with Jean Newhart from Weddings from the Heart. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Good to be here. Yeah, well, let's talk a little bit. As, as far as mm -hmm. starting a, planning for a wedding, what should couples be doing? Okay. Well, f first of all, when couples get in person and get engaged, the first impulse they want to do is start going out and buying and getting and things and just start, well, they just want to jump right into it. The best thing they should do is just stop, enjoy that engagement period. Even if it's just for a couple weeks, just revel in the romance and just the happiness and show off the ring. Then, once they want to start finally getting into the actual planning, again, just stop and just look through magazines, pull up pictures of that, you really, that really appeals to them, go on websites, just get ideas and then sit down just the two of them and decide what do we really want out of our wedding day. Do we want big, small, in a church, non-religious, um, indoors, outdoors, just, just you know, determine between the two of them what do they really want. There's going to be things that they agree on, things that they don't. Um, but then again, marriage is about compromise and communication and it's just perfect place to start right from the start is that compromise and communication to have the day they really want. Now how should a couple prepare a budget? Because a lot of times couples they they don't really think about a budget. They, they don't. It's um, Money's a thing they don't like to think about because it's not romantic and not fun but it's very important otherwise they're going to end up spending more than they really wanted to or po po possibly were able to. Um, the best thing they need to do is to first sit down and decide how much can we comfortably take from savings and put towards our budget. How much can we comfortably take out of our paychecks each week direct so only for the wedding? Are mom and dad going to contribute to the wedding? If so, how much? Know how much they have to spend. Um, if they choose to put things on a credit card, how much comfortably do we want to put on each month so we can you know, not end up with a, you know, years of debt afterwards. Once they know how much they can spend all together, then they can kind of determine between the different categories within a wedding, where can we allocate this? And to do that, I always recommend to them, just make a list of all the things that go into a wedding. Your dress, your cake, um, food, music, you know, it's probably 14, 15 different things at least. And rank them, most important to least important. That way, when it comes time to spend for spending, they know what areas to really concentrate on that's most important to them. And then the areas that aren't quite as important, you know, maybe they don't have to concentrate quite as much, or maybe if it's not really not that important, to not have it at all. Mm -hmm. Now, how can they keep their costs down? What would you recommend? I always recommend one of the best ways to keep the cost from skyrocketing is to limit how many people you are inviting. How many people are you going to have at your wedding? Put a cap on that number and do not go over that. It's very easy to think of, oh, I forgot to invite so-and-so. Oh, somebody's they're starting to date somebody else. We've got to invite their, you know. Oh, I just met this person. I've got to invite them. The more people that come to the wedding, the more costs they're going to, in, they're going to accumulate between not just the food and beverage, but in linens and decor, um, maybe um, more chairs, centerpieces, everything. It just That is one th area that is really going to directly affect the bottom line. Yeah. What mm -hmm. kind of services can a wedding planner provide mm -hmm. on the day of the wedding or even planning much before? A wedding planner can provide a variety of services from all or nothing, um, not all or nothing, but everything to just bits and pieces. Um, I have had couples where literally just got engaged and I've been with them through the whole process to after the reception. And other couples prefer to do the planning themselves, but come the week of the wedding, they don't want to deal with the details. They just want to show up and enjoy themselves. And 
Now, do you have some advice on maybe using some checklists or some online websites that they might find helpful? Oh, definitely. Um, Wedding Wire is definitely that has wonderful ideas, checklists. Has done re does real weddings, think not real weddings. Excuse me, real simple. dot com. Um, Brides. dot com has a wonderful photo galleries. Um, Green Bride Guide is a wonderful website for ideas for couples who are more ecologically minded, of, and it gives great tips for different areas of the wedding. They can pick and choose, a, you know, what areas that they would want to maybe go a little more green for their wedding. Uh, there are wedding blogs like 100 Layer Cake, um, Style Me Pretty, and of course there's Pinterest, which is wonderful for all kinds of different ideas. Mm -hmm. Now, what would you say is your most important piece of advice that you give a couple? Okay. To the two most, I'm going to have to say the two most important pieces of advice is first of all, it's your wedding. It's the couple's wedding. It is not mom's. It is not best friends. It is not sisters. It's not brothers. It is your wedding. Decisions are yours. The wedding is yours. They, your friends and family, they're going to give you advice. They're going to want to. They want to enjoy and be part of the wonder, your wonderful day. But bottom line, do what you want to do for your wedding. And the most important piece of advice is never ever forget why you are having a wedding. Your wedding is the first day of your marriage. The marriage is the important part. The wedding day is only one day. The important part is you are spending the rest of your life with this person, and never lose sight of that. Go on dates. Don't talk about weddings. Just go on a date. Enjoy each other's company during the pl wedding planning process, and even after the wedding. Well, thank you so much, Jean, for coming on today. We'll be back with more okay. Ohio weddings. Entertainment unlimited events the leader in event decor. So much to do. Planning your wedding can be overwhelming. This is your day and we are ready to assist you in any and every way we can to make this a day to remember. We customize our decor to fit your style and vision, be it traditional elegance or the latest trend. Entertainment Unlimited Events is the leader in wedding decor and event planning. Weddings in the Hawking Hills where dazzling beauty marries extraordinary locations. Ohio's Hawking Hills offers rehearsal dinner, wedding, and reception sites wrapped in breathtaking natural splendor. There are sparkling waterfalls as gorgeous as a bridal veil. Your free Hawking Hills wedding planning kit is waiting for you. Visit www.1800hawking.com forward slash weddings or call 1-800-HAWKING. Welcome back to Ohio Weddings. I am now with Stephanie Vi Hagar from Entertainment Unlimited Events, and we are going to talk about how to choose a venue. Now, what should couples be thinking about as far as choosing a venue? Well, when they're looking for a place to have their event, they definitely want to make sure it can accommodate the style that they want their wedding to take on. Um, how important is it to know what their theme is before they actually pick that venue? It's very important because they definitely don't want to pick a venue that can't accommodate what they want. For example, I have a lot of young ladies who really want to have us swag their ceiling. And if the venue can't accommodate a ceiling swag, then she's going to be very disappointed. So I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. What types of questions should they ask beforehand? They should ask, um, a big one is what kind of restrictions do you have on decor that you allow in the facility? Um, if you have restrictions, what are they? Um, also, how much time do I get in my contract for setup and breakdown of my event decor? They could also ask if they're flexible and open to this, if there's a discount for having their event on a Friday or a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Why should a couple hire a designer for their day? Well, I have to say, in this Pinterest world that we live in, there are so many beautiful pictures out there and so many different designs that I find a lot of couples are really doing a grab bag of all the different things they like. And as a designer, I can help them tie it all together. This is one of the most expensive parties they're ever going to throw, and they want to make sure that it looks that way, that it doesn't turn out to be a hodgepodge. So what we can do is help them refine their likes and their desires and put it into a nice cohesive of package. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the time of day 
that an event is held? How does that change how the venue can look? Well, it, it can totally change the style. If they want to have an elegant uh, dinner affair, obviously if they wanted to have a black tie, that would be an evening type of, of look. Also the lighting. We do a lot with lighting now. So if I have a young lady that wants to change the room color with lighting, that, that may not work if there's a whole wall of windows that aren't covered. So it really just depends on what she wants. That's one of the big reasons she needs to find out what can be accommodated by the venue and select the proper venue for her event. How would they get in touch with you to get more information? Well, they could absolutely contact us directly at entertainmentunlimitedevents.com or they could contact me directly at stephanie at entertainmentunlimitedevents.com. Well, that was great. Well, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll have more Ohio Weddings. The Event Connections is proud to sponsor the 2013 Wedding Package Giveaway. One lucky winner will receive a package that includes a wedding gown, tuxes, decor, entertainment, photography, flowers, planning, and more. Register to win online or at the 2013 Winter Wedding Showcase, Saturday, February 2nd, 2013, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Event Connections, 4140 Linden Avenue in Dayton, Ohio. Register to win online at www.theeventconnections.com. I'm Julie Alba, and we're back with Ohio Weddings, and now I'm with Deborah Moreland from Paris. Welcome, Deborah. Thank you. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit how you got into the bridal industry? Well, I was a stay-at-home mom, and my husband and I had our own display company, and um, my sister-in-law was getting married, needed help with her accessories, and I knew nothing about it. And I just helped her and started my own little in-home business, and it grew from there. Wow. Yeah, could you tell me some of the bridal labels and TV shows that you've worked with? Well, we've been, uh, been on Oprah, Good Morning America, Today Show, and I've designed private collections for Vera Wang, Ann Barge, Lazaro, Carolina Herrera. It's a huge list because it's 25 years, mm -hmm. but uh, it's been an interesting ride and opportunity to work with all those designers. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the episode that you did with the Heart of Dixie for CW when you actually, I think one of your veils was featured in the show? Yes, the star, I, I guess it's the star, she um, uh, loves vintage jewelry and they always have really beautiful pieces featured for her. And when she got married, they used one of our veils and some other accessories, and it was actually a veil that was featured on your show the, yeah. the last time. Yeah. Yeah. What can you tell me as far as, like, these accessories? Is all of this made in Ohio? Yes. Yeah. We hire uh, artists and train them to our specifications, and all of the, you know, I'm the head designer, but I've got people that help engineer things with me, and then all the replications are made in Ohio. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, we're proud of it. Yeah. Can we talk about some of the wedding trends this year as far as accessories? Well, I think um, important ornaments in the hair have been, it's been growing. Like the tiaras are a little passe, but now we're seeing things that are just important. And then I think also with uh, the Great Gatsby coming out soon, that that will have, it already has had an impact on fashion, and I look for that to grow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I know you've brought several items with you today. Do you want to go ahead and describe some of the things you've brought? Sure. Um, well, if we want to start with the picture on the end, that's our new ad that's featured in Martha Stewart, and it features a wreath and um, excess little combs that fit in the hair to, to accent uh, just different points in the hair. And it's actually, I've got it on a mannequin here. The wreath is separate, and the little combs just tuck in wherever, wherever you want them. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a necklace that matches that set, and then I'm wearing the bracelet and earrings. And other pieces, um, these are pieces that we do in leather, 
I hand pick the skins and we make the flowers. We just press them into shape. And then this brooch has a composite of enameled flowers and beaded uh, flowers that kind of, it's, it's a pretty texture that will go with different embellishments on bridal gowns. Um, the pieces here that you see, these sparkle pieces, have a little more of a modern twist, but I couldn't say that in, with the right dress shape it couldn't be pushed to a 20s look. And um, actually this, uh, the belt is a trend that's just, it's been building and building for seasons. I would say 10 years ago when people started tying sashes on wedding dresses with a brooch detail, it has evolved to where it's more of a belt detail and you know, Chelsea Clinton wore a belt with her wedding dress and it's still strong. This is a fitted belt, so it would be fitted and measured when you purchase your dress. Okay. Well, thank you so much for Deborah for coming on. Thank we'll you. be back with more Ohio weddings in a few. Entertainment Unlimited Events, the leader in event decor. So much to do. Planning your wedding can be overwhelming. This is your day and we are ready to assist you in any and every way we can to make this a day to remember. We customize our decor to fit your style and vision, be it traditional elegance or the latest trend. Entertainment Unlimited Events is the leader in wedding decor and event planning. And we're back, and we're excited to share some exciting news that will be taking place right here in Ohio. I'm here with Megan Myers from the Events Connection, and she's going to share with us the exciting $25,000 wedding package giveaway that will be taking place in February. Can you tell me a little bit about what will be given away? Sure. Well, thank you, Julie, for having me on here. Um, at the Winter Wedding Showcase, we will be giving away a $25,000 wedding package. And items that are included in that package are everything from the gown. We're also doing a preservation for the gown. We're doing a decor and rental package. There's entertainment. There's lighting. So it's huge. A combined 30 vendors have come together to bring all these different services to offer in this giveaway. Wow, so. that's amazing. Yes. Now, how can a couple enter this contest? Well, there's a few different ways that they can enter. They can go to our website, which is www.theeventconnections.com, or they can also find in some of the local businesses and some of the vendors have a registration card. So the registration card, they just simply fill out the back, and they can either mail this into us or drop it off at our location. So there's just a few ways, but easiest way is probably going to be our website. Okay. Well, can you tell me a little bit more about the Winter Showcase that will be taking place? I'd love to do that. The Winter Wedding Showcase is different from other bridal shows. We do an interactive type of show. So one way that we do that is by hosting a mock reception. We've brought all the professionals together and we've decided to host a reception for our guests. We'll be doing an introduction, we'll be doing a first dance, a bouquet toss, a garter toss, and throughout the reception we're going to be giving away door prizes. So there are other prizes for couples to win. Um, along with the mock reception we'll be doing hair, makeup, we'll have a gentleman's lounge, and just other areas where they can actually um, learn about the service and experience the service rather than just talking to a vendor about it. On top of that, it's educational. So we'll have planners throughout the day speaking about tips and tricks for making sure that their planning goes nice and smooth. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Yes. Yes. Can, uh, when will this take place? February 2nd is uh, Saturday before Super Bowl. So we wanted to make sure that the gentleman could come too. Um, but it's February 2nd, uh, 2013, and it's going to be at our Dayton location, which is right off 4140 Linden Avenue. Oh, well, great. Now, where can they get tickets and where can they get more information about it? They can visit our website, theeventconnections.com, for tickets and for information. Um, another place is that some of the vendors will actually have tickets that they can 
get from them. Uh, they're also all throughout the Dayton area at some of the small businesses, um, as well as in Cincinnati, it's on cincysavers.com for half price. So if you're interested in tickets, the website, Cincy Savers, and then also some of the businesses. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Megan, thanks so much for coming and telling us about your exciting event. Thank you, Julie, for having me. Yes. And now that's the end of our show, but we are going to be showing you a real wedding. So join us next week when we're back with Ohio Weddings. that in the beginning when God created man, God said it was not good for man to be alone. God knew that man needed companionship. He needed someone like himself, yet uniquely different, someone with whom he could have an intimate and fulfilling relationship of love. And so the Bible tells how God took a part of man and created woman and brought her unto him to be his companion. And so in a very real sense, a man is completed through sharing his life and love with his wife. I receive you, Kristen. I receive you, Kristen. As God's gift. As God's gift. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. To make your relationship a priority. To never get so caught up in the hectic pace of living that you begin to take each other for granted. Marriage requires work and intentional commitment. And you can't allow your relationship to deteriorate through negligence. It's sort of like a garden. You've got to tend the garden. You've got to keep the varmints out and the weeds out, right? <laughs> and uh, you, make, you take good care of the garden, you have a beautiful garden. Mm -hmm. Likewise, you've got to take care of your marriage. But as you accept each other and your weaknesses, you also appreciate each other's strengths. And you learn to be flexible and tolerant, patient and understanding, and practice forgiveness and just desire to keep on growing and improving with God's help and the work of His grace in your lives. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen.